Hi, my name is Mika Osaki and I write the column through Yonsei Eyes for the Nichibei. It catalogs my experiences as a fourth generation Japanese American who lives and works in Japan. I spent the past two years uh, living in Totori City, which is the least populated part of the country, and I now live in Yokohama, Japan, which is of course one of the most populated parts of the country. I've worked as an English teacher at either the elementary or junior high school level, so my column catalogs those experiences and perspectives. Hi, my name is Carl Kay and I write a column called Descent from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a Yonsei or fourth generation Japanese American who is a senior staff attorney at the ACLU, one of the co-chairs for Sudu for Solidarity and a board member for the New York Day of Remembrance Committee. My column is new this year for the Nichi Bay and focuses on the pressing civil rights issues that we face today. My name is Arisa Hirai and I write the new column Nihongo Corner. I'm a Shin Yisei from San Francisco who now teaches Japanese at Lincoln High in the city. Growing up with both English and Japanese opened up a lot of opportunities for me and I hope my column can help others have fun with the Japanese language as well. I'm Linda Mihara and I'm a third generation Japanese American born and raised in San Francisco. I manage the family business called The Paper Tree located in San Francisco's Japantown and I'm also an origami artist and designer. I write the Origami Now column. I hope you join me. Let's have some folding fun and thank you so much for supporting the Nichibei Foundation. My name is Satsuki Ina. I'm a third generation Sansei, born in the Tule Lake Segregation Center during World War II and raised in San Francisco, Japantown. And I am a licensed psychotherapist. My column is titled Let's Talk and its focus is on uh, mental health and well being. Hi, my name is uh, Rem Masato Kawahatsu. I'm a minister of Konko Church. I came from Yamaguchi Ken, Japan. I started to send my article of Heart of Kanji about 20 years ago. I wish to share an ancient culture of Asia with the American people. This is my calligraphy. Thank you. Arigatouzaimasu. I'm Chizu Omori and I write a column for the Nichibei Weekly called Rabbit Ramblings from Oakland, California. I am a Nisei, a second generation Japanese American, and I write from the perspective of having undergone incarceration. I write about social issues and Japanese American history. My name is Greg Robinson. I'm a third and fourth generation New Yorker. I'm also a first generation Montrealer. I'm a professor of history at the University of Quebec at Montreal. The column that I write for the Nietzsche Bay is called The Great Unknown and the Unknown Great. It's an exploration of interesting but unknown people and things in Japanese American history. I'm Jeff Asai and I write the column Fantastic Voyage. I had started writing in 2006 and it was about a Yonsei perspective of someone living in Japan on the JET program. And so at the beginning it was, you know, the shenanigans I would get into kind of thing. But it has evolved as my life has changed. So I've uh, written about, you know, the path to citizenship in Japan or becoming a Buddhist minister and attending a local protest and those kind of things. Hopefully, uh, I will continue to write until I'm an old man so you can see the complete evolution of it. Thank you very much for your continued support. My name is Linda Okazaki. I live in Lafayette, California, and I write the column Finding Your Nikkei Roots, which is all about helping Japanese Americans to research and document their family history. The Nietzsche Bay Foundation at its very core, the heart and the soul, is the newspaper and it's a privilege to contribute to the newspaper through the Roots column. This is Ryan Tatsumoto, the Gochi So Gourmet. I've been writing for the Nichi Bay Weekly now since 2003. Various uh, subjects such as uh, restaurants, food, nutrition, mostly wine, sometimes cocktails. I hope you'll consider subscribing to the Nichi Bay Weekly. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lori Shigakuni. I am fifth generation on one side and third generation on the other side. I was born and raised in the San Fernando Valley, came to Northern California in um, 1979. I was introduced to the Nichi Bay through my aunt, Akemi Kikumurai Yano. And right now I'm a columnist for a column called Lasting Commitments that talks about estate planning issues and also about 
Japanese American cultural issues. I have been a board member for the last two and a half years and I've really enjoyed helping to participate in the events and getting to know the other board members. Some of my favorite memories involved um, getting to know all of you. When I went to the Wakamatsu Tea and Silk event, I just enjoyed being on the bus and hearing from people about their own reflections. I enjoy actually board meetings, hearing about board members' passion for the Nichibe. For example, when Reverend Al Matsui helps with the budget, I just hear about his um, passion for helping the Japanese American community. Are stories important? The Nichi Bay is a great organization. I'm so glad to help and I encourage you to give generously. Thank you. Hello, my name is Greg Inaba. I'm the informatics pharmacy technician at, at San Francisco General Hospital. I'm a fourth generation Japanese American and I was born and raised in Sacramento, California. Back in 2010, when a group of mine, Nakayoshi, more really want to resurrect the Soyan Tofu Festival that the Nichi Bay had done the year earlier. So I met up and talked with Kenji took a couple of months, but we were surprisingly able to pull it off and it's been a huge success uh, ever since um, a couple years ago when our funds were, were a little tight and it came to the point where Nichi Bay had to really be honest and open with the community. We almost had to shut, close our doors and that's when the community really stepped up and gave almost everything that they could. Every little bit helped, every little donation that people came in to drop by or mail in really helped out and, and saved the foundation and the community stepping up is what kind of shows the power of what community can really do. We're basically capturing history as it happens. When times are really tough, like right now, during COVID and during racial tension, learning from our past is and being educated on what we can do is really important in education and historical accuracy is the foundation of that. Hi, I'm Kiyomi Takeda. I was born and raised in San Francisco and I currently live close to Japantown in the Fillmore District with my husband Ken and my daughter Himari. I am Shin Nisei on my father's side, he is from Fukuoka, and Yonsei on my mother's side. My grandmother was a Kibei Nisei from Yamanashi. And I was introduced to the Nichibei Foundation through, uh, through the Soyan Tofu Festival. I started out as a volunteer, ended up being a uh, co-chair of the festival, and then fell in love with the organization and ended up being on their board of directors. My Nichi Bay favorite memory um, is getting the opportunity to honor my Obachan. Um, who went through Angel Island at the Angel Island pilgrimage. I was able to participate in a, a short play uh, and dance that was produced by uh, Judy Hamaguchi, and that was that was quite powerful. The Nishi Bay Foundation is a small but mighty, uh, my mighty staff with a lot of support from volunteers. The community is incredible in the, in the support that they provide, and I'm just so proud to be a part of this organization. So thank you so much for, for your continued support. Greetings everyone and welcome to the Day of Giving. I'm Linda Okazaki. I'm a native Californian of European ancestry. My husband is Japanese American and he was born and raised in Tokyo. Our kids are Hapa and as such, I feel connected to the Japanese American community through my family. In 2014, we brought in volunteers from the California Genealogical Society. And after that, I started the uh, genealogy column, the Finding Your Nikkei Roots. And the following year, I joined the board. And Kenji asked um, what my favorite memory was of, of my participation with Nichi Bay. And without a doubt, it was the first pilgrimage. The highlight was being able to share the story of my father-in-law's family who immigrated through Angel Island. His father came first in 1920. 12, followed by two brothers, a sister, and eventually my father-in-law's mother came in 1921. So it was a really special memory for me. It's really a pleasure serving on the board of the Nichi Bay Foundation, and thank you all for being here today. We really appreciate your support on this day of giving. Hi, my name is Nancy Ukai, and I'm a Sansei. I'm the third generation of my family to live in the East Bay in Berkeley. After college, I went to Japan and I lived there for 14 years. I worked as a journalist and now I'm working on a history website project called 50 Objects, which looks at the material history of the World War II concentration camps. 
I'm a new member of the board of the Michi Bay, and one of the things I really love about it is its long history of keeping the community together. This is a color copy of a directory which the Michi Bay published in 1948. It's called an evacuation resettlement report, and after the camps were closed and people were dislocated, they had no homes to return to, the Michi Bay editors tracked down members of the community in Canada, Mexico, Cuba, Peru, Argentina, as well as all parts of the United States and listed them. So it's an invaluable resource for family historians, researchers like me. It's just part of what the Michi Bay has, has always done. It also lists ads by the Civil Rights Defense Union and the Gilroy Hot Springs, which actually happens to be a place where my grandparents went to take a bath and relax in the 1950s. So thank you for supporting the Michi Bay. And I'm just thinking, you know, what will you, your family members and friends rely on in the decades to come when they want to learn about the community? The Nietzsche Michi Bay will be there to support us. Hi everyone, I'm Alan Matsui and I am on the board of the Nishi Bay Foundation, have been for about I think six years or so. Uh, I'm a sansei. I was born and raised in San Francisco, grew up in San Francisco's Japantown. I got introduced to the Nishi Bay Foundation by Lowell Kimura, who was a friend of mine from Troop 58, and he suggested that I come and give Nishi Bay some help on the accounting side, and then from there I was asked to join the board, so here I am today. My favorite Nishi Bay memory has to be what's going on right now with this remembrance for the 75 years after the atomic bombing. And that has brought back a lot of memories, helped me to understand more about my mother, her experiences as a Hibakusha, what she had to go through. Nichi Bay Foundation was really in dire financial condition a few years ago when we had, when we had our first day of giving. And thanks to the generous support of our community. We are here today and able to have events like this uh, remembrance, which is uh, I think a real tribute to Kenji and how hard he works and the whole Nichi Bay team here. I thank you all for being with us today. Please support us and be safe. Hi, my name is Kota Morikawa. I'm a Shin Issei from Tokyo. I am an advertising manager for Nichi Bay Weekly since 2019. But I was a staff writer for the、uh, Nichi Bay Times back in 2006 until 2009. Working for Nichi Bay has been a great pleasure in meeting people and learning something about the Japanese culture and Japanese American community every single day. Please consider donating and supporting Nichi Bay Foundation. My name is Ryan Yamamoto. I am third generation Japanese Korean American and I'm from Santa Monica, California. I work in the programs、uh, section of Nichi Bay. More recently, I've taken on the position of office management and bookkeeping. My most memorable moments were definitely actually during the、uh, events that we've worked on together. Hi, I'm Jill Shiraki. I'm a Sansei from West Los Angeles. And have worked many years in the San Francisco Bay Area and the Japanese American community. My first connection with Nichi Bay was through writing an occasional piece on Nikkei parenting as I was trying to figure that out. But more intentionally, I've been working with、um, Kenji to fulfill the mission of. Nichi Bay's to keep the community connected. And we developed Films of Remembrance, a venue to、um, provide an opportunity for filmmakers to share their work. And、um, we've also developed the Nikkei Angel Island pilgrimage, as well as the Wakamatsu pilgrimage. One of my favorite、um, memories of Nichi Bay's events is maybe the second year of our Nikkei Angel Island pilgrimage. We were worried about、um, people overheating, and yet the people continued to arrive,、um, walking almost a mile up the hill, and some even arriving via、um, kayak. So it's really exciting to see the many generations of people who are interested in our community history. And Nichi Bay continues to be that vehicle for collaboration, for finding a voice, and bringing people together. My name is Edith Horner. My maiden name is Moriguchi. I was born and raised in San Francisco, and I'm a Sansei. However, one of my grandmothers was actually born in. 
California. So I've been working here for three years, four years as an accountant. Mm -hmm. I also have gone on the pilgrimage to Wakamatsu and to the Angel Island pilgrimage. The history is not just in books and not just in pictures or in museums, but in actual places where people lived and died. Hello, my name is Wasani Hay. I was born in Berkeley, California, raised in Japan now, and I live in San Francisco. I first worked for the NHPA Times as a kid, delivering the newspaper. My role now is as membership coordinator slash senior citizen retiree. Basically, it's my job to make sure that every two weeks, you receive an Ichibei weekly newspaper and or digital edition. My favorite memories are working with the Ichibei staff through the years and seeing how dedicated they were to keeping the community informed and connected. Hello, my name is Greg Gloria, born and raised in San Francisco, California. I've been associated with Ichibei since 2013, 14, something like that. Um, started as a volunteer at the Soyan Tofu Festival. I'm a visual storyteller for Nichibe, aka videographer. I decided one year to be uh, Kiri Tofuri, the tofu mascot. And um, I remember I was sitting in a meeting. I said I, I wanted to do that. And then uh, Judy Hamaguchi said that you had to shave your legs. I said, oh, really? They were kidding. Guess what? I shaved my legs. I'm grateful to be a part of that uh, storytelling adventure that uh, Nichi Bay is on. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Derek Tahara. I was born and raised in the South Bay. I've been at Nichi Bay for almost one year now. My position here at Nichi Bay is uh, one of the staff writers there. And one of my favorite uh, stories that I did was the Oregon Prison Healing Garden. I got interesting perspective from some of the inmates. Please donate if you can. Every little bit helps. My name is Tomo Hirai and I'm a Shin Nisei, born in San Francisco and raised mostly in the suburbs of Contra Costa County uh, over in Concord. I first started as a two-day intern at the Nichibei Times to fulfill a graduation requirement for my high school. And so that would be shortly after the English section split from the bilingual edition in 2006 uh, at the Nichibei Times. As far as my affiliation with the Nichibei uh, Foundation and the Weekly goes, I was present for the very first edition, uh, which came out a few weeks before I started my senior year of college at UC Davis. Now, most people know me as a writer for the paper. Some of my favorite memories of Nichibei, I think for me, are the various first moments I meet so many people within the community. These first impressions that help inform me about so many of the people who live and work around Japantown uh, remain as one of my most memorable moments. There are a few stories that stand out for me uh, from my career working here. The comfort woman issue is one of them spanning several years. Another big story that I worked on when I was uh, early in my career was uh, the honorary diplomas offered to the Nisei at, uh, who used to attend Sacramento City College. How I see Nichibei uh, serving the community is that it's a point of aggregation for the Japanese American community, especially in the San Francisco Bay Area. It collects information that people are not only seeking, but other things people ought to know. It's a way to keep people connected to the Japan towns, as well as the extended members of the community as the Japanese American diaspora continues to spread further out and uh, wider from its days when Japanese Americans were generally relegated to the Japan towns. My name is Heather Horiuchi. I was born and raised in Honolulu, and I'm a Yonsei. I have a master's degree in print journalism from American University in Washington, D.C. Started off with the Nichibei Times in August 2008, and I've been with the Nichibei Foundation since its founding. I'm our managing editor, and probably what resonates most with me is the sense of accomplishment we feel after we've gone to press and sense of serving the community when we hear from sources or people, readers 
who are just really appreciative of our telling their story or people who have learned about aspects of the Japanese American history that they wouldn't have otherwise known. While we have a small staff, we are fortunate to work with writers, columnists, and photographers from across the Bay Area, as well as down in Southern California, a few places throughout the United States, a couple columnists in Japan, and even someone in Canada. And these team members enable us to cover various aspects of the Japanese American community, whether it's pilgrimages or smaller festivals and events, and even sometimes national news. And our writers also review books for us twice a year. During the pandemic, we had to quickly shift our focus. Obviously, we started including resources for those who are at risk. We started including resources for lower income members. We have been covering healthcare providers, educators, and just various aspects of the pandemic. Our role within the community is to report on stories that might not otherwise make it into mainstream outlets. And we are also, in some cases, covering stories that enable people to learn about either their personal history or the collective community history that they would never have otherwise have heard or learned about. And what we often hear from readers is it's important to continue telling these stories for the future generations, especially as, you know, Nisei are passing on so much of Japanese American history and stories are going with them. Hello, my name is Kenji Taguma, and I am the editor in chief of the Nichi Bay Weekly and the president and founding board chair of the Nichi Bay Foundation. I am a third generation Japanese American, a sansei, born in Sacramento and raised in the countryside of West Sacramento. But one thing that sticks in my mind is a historic meeting that we help facilitate with the benefit screening of Persona Non Grata, the story of Chune Sugihara by Chelin Gluck, in which we were able to have five descendants of Jewish refugees saved by the Japanese Shindler Chune Sugihara meet with the granddaughter and great grandson of the Japanese diplomat from Japan. That was very touching and emotional. Today, I see the role of the Nichi Bay as the glue that holds the community together. And as one community leader said, uh, we're really validating our experience. And I think we're documenting our community's history for generations to come, for 50 years, 100 years down the line. We follow uh, our mission to heart, keeping the community connected, informed, and empowered. On behalf of staff and board, I thank you for your continued support of our mission and especially during this day of giving when so much is happening in the world. My name is Amy Hanamoto. I'm a Nisei, originally from Morgan Hill. I've been volunteering for Nichi Bay for the last 11 years. Currently, I'm volunteering, helping them coordinate the mailing and trying to get my friends to come and help me. My first time volunteering for the Nietzsche Bay Foundation was assisting with the soy and tofu dessert competition, um, and that was almost 10 years ago. I then came back to chair the dessert competition for a few years. Um, I've lost track of how many total Nietzsche Bay events I've volunteered for. Um, I'm part of a young professionals group called Nakayoshi, and we've offered day of help for different events uh, like the Films of Remembrance, the Mochiko Chicken Fundraiser, and Soy and Tofu Festival. Um, I think though my most memorable time volunteering for the Nietzsche Bay was heading the dessert competition. Um, there were lots of after work meetings crammed in the conference room, but also with a lot of good energy. Uh, the Nichi Bay has some really dedicated long-time staff and volunteers, so it was such a nice experience uh, for me to share time with them, especially as I was coming into this space of learning how to organize community events on my own. Uh, what drives me to continue volunteering with the Nichi Bay Foundation is their mission of keeping the community connected. Um, whenever I've had to organize a fundraiser or put on an event, the Nietzsche Bay has always been super willing to help spread the word. Um, and I think that's a really important function that our community needs, um, and perhaps especially during these COVID times. <laughs>